But you want to know how much money did I make? I would want to know that. I would want to know how much money. Last year, um, between what I was doing, um, that year probably grossed somewhere around What's up? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. And I am going to do a little recap um, today on the three things that I know I learned in the 2019 cut season and hope this information will help you guys out, fam. All right, number one thing I learned this year compared to last year, um, I did my marketing um, this year on Every Door Direct Miller. And guys, fam, I spent about eight grand on it. And I do mean eight grand with the design and um, sending out the postcards, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I did not win on those Every Door Direct Mellers. Did not, did not, did not. Not like I wanted to. Not like I wanted to. And this year, I am not going to do that method going into the 2020 um, season. Now, I'm gonna tell you where I really, really won at. And this goes for um, the solo brothers out there and maybe sisters, yeah. I got a sister out there putting in that work. Um, I do this thing and you can go back and check um, my videos out where I have a nice um, flyer and I got this from um, a brother from Green Lawn, uh, um, Thumbs, Thumb Lawns, one of those. Um, and he used a plastic um, business card that he got from Vista Print. Now, they're not cheap at all. I think it ran me to get maybe 1500 or 1000 it ran me about 800 700 bucks somewhere in there and i apologize for not really knowing the numbers on it but please check out vista print and the reason why i love this method is because it actually looks like a actual gift card please go back and look at my old video i was doing it last year um and i really didn't put them out you know really didn't take the time to put it out because i was actually cutting grass last year this year I really didn't get in the saddle and cut 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 yards. Um, I had some other guys to do that. I was more of the administrator, but check this out. I used that doggone gift card, and here was my method. This is what I told clients when they called with that 25% off. They say, hey, I got a 25% gift card. Um, how do I use it? I say, hey, it's $5 off your first five cuts. That totaled up to $25. So you least knew that it was gonna you was gonna get to service them five times. So that's what I did. Uh, five dollars off the first five cuts. I loved it, and they loved it too. And what was so cool about it is that my guys would pass it out. Matter of fact, Darren would go back to a certain subdivision that we liked, and he would put flyers in there. Remember, we put the flyers in the neighborhood a week <clears throat> before we serviced that location. Because what they would do is they would call us ahead of time and by the time you know they'll call we will already be there and it was perfect man i'm telling you that is the system that i'm doing um next year so that's one thing i learned another thing i learned is um when it comes to hiring people it's still kind of tricky um, when it comes to hiring people um i learned that you cannot hire people over the phone each time I hired somebody over the phone, they did not show up. But that's because I didn't do the right thing. I didn't respect my business enough. I'm hiring people over the phone. That's desperate, man. That's like trying to get a date over the phone. Ain't no fine girl, prom queen gonna show up. You trying to holler at her and you never met her over the phone. She is not a dime piece. Just know that. So those guys was bums and they didn't show up. But I was a bum too because I didn't respect them by doing the interviewing process. Each time I did an interview, interviewing process, I did it like this, gave them a call. I said, hey, I'm hiring for a position. Yada, yada, are you interested? I wanna do a face-to-face. -face. They said yes. So I had like maybe two positions. I called about 20 people, and out of the 20 people, about seven showed up, and I only needed two. 
and I sure enough filtered them by, it was a great interview. Please check that information out. That's on my channel as well, where we did an interviewing process and I had me a nice little survey that I put together and the face-to-face -face telling, I realized that you always gotta have your one ads going. Even if you got something on your truck, you always hiring, let them know that you're hiring. Let people know that you're looking for somebody. Continue to let them know you're hiring. And I say it over and over again, because circumstances happen, people quit, people move on with their life. And believe me, if they're not running a business or own a business, cutting grass is not their future. It is your future if you own something and you understand the difference between being a, um, a owner of a business and being a worker. So always, always let people know you're hiring and always keep that information because when that person don't show up, you got somebody handy, ready to work. The guys that I've hired at the beginning of the year, only one made it through the cut season. And hey, he said he's coming back next year and hopefully, man, I can make a crew chief out of him because uh, he's a really good guy and he says he wants to um, continue to work with us uh, from season to season. So that's the second thing I learned this year. You know, the last thing I wanna tell you um, about this recapping this year, and I may add some more stuff, but you wanna know how much money did I make? I wouldn't wanna know that. I would wanna know how much money. Last year, um, between what I was doing, um, that year probably grossed somewhere around $90,000. $90, I'm sharing this with you guys because don't look at YouTube and think that people are making millions of dollars for not doing this. We're making an honest living and it's hard work. So I don't want you to think that. However, it was $90,000. I made that. This year, what we did, we're probably going to grow somewhere between $170,000 to $180,000. Uh, that's probably the rest of the, rest of the year. So that's what we did or should I say that's what we're doing uh, right now so how did I do it number one number one you can't cut all this grass by yourself now some people out there are trying to cut it all by themselves and they're going solo or they're going solo with their, their partner or friend or whatever hey I, I'm telling you partnership is where that that's what I learned that I can't cut all this grass by myself I'm not gonna cut my, all this grass by myself and if I want to grow I got to reach out to other people. Shout out to everyone. They, they enjoy my videos and they encourage me to put out the videos. Shout out to the ones who want to hook up with me and hopefully one day we may do something together. Shout out to the people who actually I send work to them and they did the job for me and then later on I picked the client up. Because I'm telling you, that's something I do too. I may not be able to get to that client. I'll ask somebody, hey, can you go out and cut that yard, service that yard? Carol, you know, I'm shouting out you. She goes out, she did it for me, and then I later on pick that client up. So it's about networking, and I, I know that. I know it. Now, truth be told, if I am saying this, it's a lot of guys in your area that's doing it. They ain't on YouTube running their mouth, but, hey, shoot something in the comment section. I'm telling you, shoot it down in the comment section. See if someone is wanting to um, link up in your area. Hey, let them know where you at. Let them know, hey, I'm looking to link up. I'm in so-and-so, so-and-so. Looking for a strong guy who got his own business. I want to grow mine. Because you can't cut all this grass by yourself. If you think you're going to be riding lawnmowers forever, uh, no, it's not going to happen. So learn to grow your business learn to um come up with a system because that's the only way you can build an inheritance and hand it to somebody else if you can't teach them what you're doing you ain't gonna teach them how to eat all right cut on lawn care family cut on i'm cutting out peace